In this example, we're going to learn how to calculate friction losses in a fluid power system. Now, this friction loss calculation is a little bit long. Um, so I have uh, I have uh, split it there into steps, so it is helpful. Now, before we start this uh, calculation, we have to know that in the end of this process, we have to apply something called Bernoulli's law. Now, Bernoulli's law is energy conservation law. So pressure at point one, um, and so total energy at point one is equal to total energy at point two. That's basically the Bernoulli's law. So in terms of pressure in the, in the hydraulic or pneumatic system, uh, you have pressure head, and then you may have a velocity head at that point one, and then the elevation head at point one, and then you may have a pump that is adding some energy uh, in terms of head in uh, point one. And then you may have losses. Um, um, you may have some motor that is taking some energy from the system. Then you can have some losses in the system, which um, takes um, some power too. And then whatever le left, uh, that will be available at point two in terms of the pressure head. Uh, velocity head and uh, the elevation head. Now, so step number one to uh, basically we have to find uh, each of these uh, terms for the Bernoulli's um, for this loss calculation. So step number one is calculating the velocity because the loss calculation depends on the, is it a laminar flow or turbulent flow? So to calculate laminar turbulent, we need to calculate Reynolds number. Now for the um, Reynolds number calculation, we need velocity. So we need to find out velocity at both points. So step number one is to find out the velocity at point, both points. So this is a large pond. So at point one will not see much movement compared to point two so velocity at point one would be zero and then velocity at point two v2 we can calculate by using the flow rate equation so flow rate divided by the area and then we can we have uh, 50 gallon per minute and the area is three inch diameter pipe so let's uh, plug those numbers so 50 gallon per minute um, divided by the area, which is pi by four, d squared, three inch, whole square. Now this gallon per minute, I can write this gallon per minute like that. So we can convert. I know that 231 inch cube, oops. So I want to cancel this gallon. So I'll write one gallon here and 231 inch cube is one gallon. So one gallon bucket of milk can contain about 231 inch cube. Um, if you just can't want to visualize this. Now, one I want to cancel that minute too. So one minute is 60 second. So if I calculate all that, I have got, I uh, think 27.23, uh, 27.23 feet per second. Now again, if I want to convert this to, um, I think that was in inch per second, sorry. If I want to convert this to uh, foot per second, that would be 27.23 times, I want, let me do it here, 27.23 uh, inch per second. I want to cancel this inch, so 12 inch is one foot. So then the velocity, I calculated 2.27 feet per second. So velocity at point two is 2.27 feet per second. And velocity at point one is zero.